What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Big Country Customs, as always. Um, today I got something different. It's a tool review, kinda, but it's not a shop tool. I bought a generator and we're gonna be doing a first start. So I'll see you then. All right, so here she is. I got a Westinghouse WGen 9500 and it's really, really clean. I put gas in it. I used, um, let me show you what motor oil I used instead of what came with it. I got Toro Lawnmower. I love this oil, so I put 10W30 full synthetic. It's actually blue. So you can really tell when it needs to be changed, when it's black. This back, I'm running non-ethanol gas in it. And I have not started it yet. So that's what we're about to do. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you turn the breaker on, there's nothing coming out anyway. And the battery should be charged. I haven't touched anything. I filled it up, not all the way, but some, cause I wanna get, run this dry and put fuel stabilized gas in here. But let's see if she cranks. Turn the switch, hit the button. Let me try to hold it. Come on, prime. Oh, the fuel's off. You can see the automatic choke working back here. Watch it. engine start stop so I tried that it didn't work maybe you have to hold it a little longer but basically I wanted this model so my wife could move it around I think it weighs 220 pounds but honestly my wife was able to use this to pick it up like one hand it's not bad at all I would run it some more but I wanted to talk to you about it super happy with it the only thing that I was not happy with is how it came shipped the box looked like it survived a hurricane and there was some damage and scuffing there's a dent here dent over there and a big dent right here but the whole body everything inside of the roll cage uh didn't seem to be messed up so i wasn't worried about it and it also i couldn't find one of these pins so i had to get one of those and it didn't come well sorry it was missing the washer that goes in between the wheel there and the bearing but besides that whatever super nice um yeah that's about it i'm about to swap this camera around so i'll see you in a sec all right so the main reason for this video is because when i was researching this particular generator i could not find anywhere that said it would power a home ac unit i have a three ton unit on my house and i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna show it to you guys and hopefully it works so Stay tuned for that. I gotta get it all wired up. I'm gonna do an interlock switch. And um, I got six gauge wire. I gotta get a, a a wire to hook it up to the 50 amp plug and all that. But that, that about covers it for now. I'll see you guys when we're trying to AC. All right, so I already got my AC unit on here. Well, I don't have my heating and air unit on yet, so I'm going to turn that on. I'm on generator power now on the Westinghouse. 
I do have a few lights on in my house, but that's it, nothing else. I'll flip this on, and that should power up my my controller. What's up, Ruger? It did, okay. Now let's see if she kicks on her AC unit here. Hey, honey, yeah. can you come click this down to um, 67 when I step outside and say go? Yeah. Thanks. Sixty-seven. When I say to. All right. Hopefully she'll kick on here in a second. Oh, there it went. She took it like a champ. Westinghouse ninety-five hundred running a three-ton AC unit. You heard her bog down. We'll walk back here again. So you guys, this unit is turned on. This is without a soft start or a hard start kit. Ran it like a champ. Go inside and see if I can feel cool air coming out. Make sure the upstairs is running. Did the lights dim? Yeah. Oh, she's blowing cold though. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm shutting her down. That's all I wanted to see. And then I'll show you guys what I did. Okay. Since it was gonna run my AC unit, I used same 6-3 wire and I made my own extension cord mail to mail to plug into my thing people will say oh there's a fallout it's dangerous well this closes keep it from falling out so go ahead and turn my main power back on here everything unplugged turn that off oh that's hard oh main power back on well that's exciting there it is Westinghouse WGen 9500 running an AC pump with no problems at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps this video up. I made this video because I couldn't find one like it when I was looking at this generator and I was curious if it would run an air conditioner unit. Well, there's the answer. That's a three ton unit. It'll probably run a four, five ton unit. I, I think that would probably be the limit on it. This, my three ton takes 7,000 watts of starting power. Um, so there, there's gotta be a line or a limit somewhere on that thing. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you wanna support me, you know, drop a boy, subscribe. I appreciate it, Big Country out.